Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Alejandro Hoyos, and today we are at Computex 2023. We are in the beautiful booth of Gigabyte, and today we're going to be talking about laptop and also motherboard. Uh, good morning, Trevor. How are you doing today? I am good, good, very good. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit of what you do at Gigabyte? I am a, a marketing specialist in our central marketing division, uh, mostly on um, product marketing. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. So you have product marketing for uh, laptops, right? That's going to yep. be your specialty. And so tell us, what do we have here? Let's start with this beautiful uh, black laptop here. Uh, this one here is our Triangle 3 model of our, our Aura 17X uh, in best and it Core i9 13,980HS processor. Right, so yeah, the HX, which is the top of the line, which you actually overclock. We have uh, 34 cores and 32 threads. That's yeah, exactly. Beautiful. And it also pairs with our most advanced WinForce Infinity cooling system to fully unleash the 24-core CPU. Nice, so, so this Infinity cooling system that you have there is as actually uh, heat, heat vapor chambers, right? Yep, a vapor chamber that fully cover the basic, uh, most of our PCB and the cores. Nice, and I think it also has like comes with four fans in there, and a couple of uh, heat pipes in there to conduct the heat. Yeah, right? the quad fan and heat pipes, and the fins over here. You can see this cup is all copper. Nice to dissipate all the heat in there. No, that is beautiful. So tell us a little bit more about the whole configuration. So you said it has a Intel Core 13 Gen 1390 HX. What about uh, the video card and memory and uh, storage? Oh yeah, it has a, a DDR5 uh, 5600. Uh, memory mm -hmm. and it's also come with an EV NVIDIA RTX 4090. Oh, nice! Yeah, so this is like perfect to play AAA titles, right? Yeah, AAA title of uh, modern mobile games or even streaming. Oh, it's yeah. stream and yeah. play at the same time. It's basically crafted for the win. Wow, wow, that is beautiful. So tell us about what different ports it has, like what type of USBs or connections it has in there. The USB port over here and even the uh, triple. Video output over here and Ethernet and a Thunderbolt. Nice, nice. So we have a USB C, we have a couple of USB ports, and in the back we have your HDMI, you have your display port, you have your RJ4511, also known as your Ethernet. You got power, it's a beautiful system, and then here you have your audio jack and also a couple more USB Pro, USB 3 ports, which is a great system. Also, of course, you know, the keyboard with all the RGBs to make your games go faster. I'm kidding. Yes. But it's overall a very beautiful system. Yeah, so what is. about the screen? What can you tell us about the resolution of the monitor? Okay, uh, it supports up to uh, 240 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so 240 hertz refresh rate. So for all those first-person game shootings, it's great. Yes, awesome. Okay, this is a beautiful system. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so now let's move to a little bit something more. Okay, so this is gaming. Yep. So let's move a little bit more. I think Our, just by the yeah. Wacom table. Creator laptop. Yeah, content yeah. creator laptop. Yes. Yeah, this is the 2023 model of our Aero 16 OLED. Nice. Yeah, it, it comes with the uh, Core i9 13900H processor. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's uh, it's like a 14 core CPU that's capable of most creating uh, creating workflow. Wow, it's, it's beautiful. It's like the feel. I'm gonna unplug the Wacom. Let's hope. Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter. But it's you can feel the weight. Like, it's yeah, really light. It's, it's real light. <laughs> it, but it's light and sturdy at it's the same portable. time. Super portable. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty thin too. It's like it's very thin. I like the feel and, yes. and touch of it, but the OLED screen is just amazing. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, display that is certified by uh, our authorities in color industry. So mm -hmm. it's uh, ca uh, it, it can achieve like a delta E of less than one. Wow, that is wow. very color accurate. So super color accurate for all those content creators out there who are doing like video editing or photos. We want to make sure that they get as a true yeah, representation of the colors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. So let's see. So once again, okay. So we here we have some uh, Thunderbolt ports over here, which is beautiful. Yep. And let me go move it around here. We have some also, uh, USB three, video your output. HDMI. Yeah, the video output in there. You got your power. Oh, and you got a, I think this is a micro SD card yep. port. Yeah. Nice, yeah. So for content creators, plus your audio jack. Everything you need. Oh, this is a beautiful system and it's pretty light, like you said. Yep. And I, I love it. I love it. So capable. Yes. Uh, no, this is great. So, Shrugger. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. thank you for showing us. So I'm still here at the Gigabyte booth. We just were talking a little bit ago about laptops, but now we're going to transition over to motherboards. With me, I have my friend and doubleganger, Alex. Hi, Alex. How's it going today? 
Ah, uh, very good. Good, good. Not even better. That's awesome. Can you tell awesome. us a little bit about what you do at the Dubai? Okay, I'm um, the project manager. Um, in focus on the uh, motherboard series, all the components here. Nice, yeah, nice. yeah. So which? Uh, so tell us a little bit more about the motherboard that we have here. Okay. Uh, here you can see three of the Intel's latest Z790 boards, which from top end, Extreme, Master, and the Techion. Nice. And we build the boards from the bottom. Everything is based on the ultra durable concept. We make it robust, and then we squeeze for, for performance. Okay. When we are speaking on the performance, we firstly we focus on how we can bring out every performance drop from the Intel core processor, whether it's 12th gen or 13th gen. That depends on the uh, reliable power supply from the uh, VIM area. And then the second stuff is we bring the Intel, uh, sorry, the DDR5 memory speed up to uh, 9 to 100, which is wow. on the Techion. And then on the Extreme, we can do it on the 8000 Plus, and everything is done in one click, Intel XMP profile. Select it, click it, and it run it. Wow, that, that's that's great. So these are the Z790 chipsets for Intel that are for overclocking. I mean, they'll fill the, all the different processors. But like you said, it is for 13 gen and 12 gen because we are socket compatible for those both generations, yes. which is amazing. Yes. And also, you were talking about uh, the DDR capabilities of DDR5 and different speeds and how you can actually just with one click completely do that. Yes, correct. So I've been doing a little bit of homework and I saw that you guys did something special for the memory routing between the processor and the RAM. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Okay, um, firstly, well, we have to select the right PCB material. Right. And then uh, the location of the things and the CPU, you can see it is slightly different. It is because different uh, materials utilize uh, different uh, routing techniques. Mm -hmm. And we are not just playing it, oh, uh, this is a good location, and we put it. Right. We do simulations on the CAT uh, simulation tool, mm -hmm. and then we try it, and then tune it. There's uh, so many sub-timings, we have to tune it on every memory modules, and every different, sorry, uh, different CPU SKUs, and then we have our own database. So that's why we can apply one click XMP, and it booms. Nice. So yeah, so you were just saying like the closer it is to the processor, the less parasitics and signal degradation that you'll have. So it'll make it easier. And you also guys have added like a different, like a, a plain ground between the traces to reduce the amount of crosstalk that you have in there. Yes, yes. Uh, that's the technique Intel called Intel P-O-O-L, plain on outer layer. Uh, sorry, I can move the board. If I can re-pull the board, you yeah, can see there's a very massive ground plane on the backside of the PCB, which oh. blocks out every a possible EMI interference. Also on the top side, you will see uh, traditional traces, the tiny traces seen as the hair. It's top side and back side, we are all covered by ground. By ground, yes. yes. Wow, that's... Like a Faraday cage. Yeah, like a complete Faraday cage to just yes. reduce all type of interference. Yes. Like, so, yes. oh, that's yes. beautiful. All right, tell us also about this, uh, this seems new. <laughs> tell us a little bit about this guy over here. Okay, the massive heat sink is <laughs> supposedly to cool down the the PCI Gen 5 SSDs. Um, we get the highest speed of the CPU, highest speed on the DDR, but what's the lowest speed of the cold storage, which is SSD. Gen 5 SSD creates a uh, tremendous heat. That's why we need a tremendous heat sink to help the C uh, SSD cool down, because heat uh, will give a dangerous situation to the NVMe flash. Right, right. Yeah. So heat, so you, yeah, so you have the big heat sink, so you can actually uh, reduce the amount of throttling, so your performance doesn't decay. And like you also said, you don't want too much heat because the degradation for the SSDs on the memory chips is yes. not good. Yes. And the PCI Gen 5 SSD, we just announced our uh, 12,000 oh, wow. gigabyte 12, per second all Gen 5 SSD. And the Gen 5 SSD uh, bifurcates from the CPU side, so every data exchange happens in the Intel fabric, IO fabric. Wow. So there's no latency. The minimum latency is able to achieve this. Nice, so I see that you have it in your extreme board. You also have something not as, as complex as that one, but you also have it in your masters, which is available there too. Yeah, there's mainstream master, and this is Techion. This is the world record breaking board that our uh, in-house overclock, overclocker, High Cookie. Yes, He is using that. So we are even achieving something like uh, 11, Ace LAC. something wow. on the DDR5. On the DDR5, that's, yes. uh, yeah, that's world record. Yes. That's you it. also have included here that we can't see right now, but you have included like a, an easy quick release for the M.2 memories, right? Yes. The third, pil uh, the third pillar of our motherboard design is uh, user-friendly. We make it, uh, when you assemble a system, we make it, we try to make it as easy as possible. If we can remove the heatsink, the M.2 just 
stick on it because we don't want users to use the tiny screwdrivers to screw down the tiny screws. You might accidentally uh, damage the uh, MLCCs, the small SMD stuffs on the board. And one tiny resistor may cause your motherboard totally out of function. Function, yes. yeah. No, no, that's, so, that's good. Yeah. Also, before we started, we were talking a little about it because I saw here for your main uh, PCIe port, you guys did a reinforce this, right, for the beefy video cards that are coming out, right? So yes. tell us a little bit more about yes, that. Yes, the graphics card become heavier and heavier nowadays, even though we have uh, graphic brackets yep. of itself. And we may have also stands. But who is looking after for the slots? Yeah. We have, uh, it's a PCI Gen 5. We have to provide reliable, consistent signals. And you can see it's uh, surrounding is metal. It's something like shielding out the EMI interference as well. Nice, yeah, so, yeah, so provide more strength, more robustness, yes. ruggedness for the PCI connection, and yes, also you get the, the EMI. Yes, well, correct. That's great. Alex, yeah. thank you very much. This has been great. I learned a lot. Thank you for having us today. Thank you. Thank you.